Zeus father of gods and men. Hello, I introduce myself. I am Zeus, the supreme god of the Greeks, and I am going to tell you my story. God Zeus rules over the Olympian gods like a father over a family of gods. He is the king of the gods and oversees the universe, being the god of the sky and thunder, and therefore of energy. In other words, he was the one who commanded the best. The god mode of video games was invented thinking of my. His attributes include the scepter and crown, the lightning bolt, the golden eagle, the bull, and the oak tree. Everyone recognizes me by lightning, but my favorite was the golden eagle. I adored that bird. Zeus is the son of Kronos and Re. He was the youngest of his descendants, married to Hera his sister and his wife. Yes. It sounds strange, but in Greece this was not so strange. We had an open concept of relationship. He is known for his numerous adventures and lovers, the fruit of which were many deities and heroes. Admit I have a problem with women. If I lived today they would send me to therapy. But at that time there were still no psychiatrists so they sent me to Olympus. Hello I'm Kronos, the father of Zeus, and unfortunately the bad guy of the story. You know that the winners are the ones who write it. Kronos was the father of several children, but he swallowed them as soon as they were born. It had already been revealed to him that he was destined to be overthrown by his own son. I admit it is not right that I ate my children, but the power dominated me, like the Ring of Sauron. It was the great mistake of my life. Although it does not come out in this story, I also did good things for humanity. I defeated Uranus, do not remember. To avoid it, her wife re hid on the island of Crete, where she gave birth to Zeus. She then deceived Kronos, giving him a stone wrapped in swaddling clothes that he immediately swallowed without miss. The truth is that it was a great idea to give him a stone. History will not recognize it, but without my intervention, Zeus would never have become who he was. Those little ideas changed the course. He was raised on the island of Crete by Amalthea. After becoming an adult, Zeus forced Cronus to regurgitate first the stone, and then his brothers in the reverse order in which he had swallowed them. The truth is that it was a great idea in the form of revenge. If you do something wrong, then you turn it around and that's it. Even so I have to punish my father with the same punishment that he put his. Zeus then freed Cronus brothers, the Hecatonchiras and the Cyclopes, from their dungeon in Tartarus. As a token of appreciation, the Cyclopes gave him thunder and lightning. It was the least we could do give him the power of lightning that would accompany him all his life. It was his destiny and we made it happen. In a war called the Titanomachy, Zeus and his brothers defeated Cronus and the other Titans, who were imprisoned in Tartarus. It was the most logical punishment. Always when we defeated a god, we sent him to Tartarus. It was his natural prisoner in our world. After the battle with the Titans, Zeus shared the world with his older brothers, Poseidon and Hades, drawing lots. Zeus got the sky and the air, Poseidon the waters, and Hades the world of the dead. I always liked the water, so I was very happy to govern in the seas. I think that in that place I found my place, and the trident is very cool among the mermaids. Although maybe in your time you do not understand governing, the underworld was not so bad imparted justice, controlled the punished, and got the world above was better and was also the bad god. And that is always a point in favor. You understand me. Athena has sometimes been called his favorite daughter. It was not going to be his favorite if it was the goddess of war and intelligence, things that today seem like day and night, but for Zeus was the ideal combination. His sacred bird was the golden eagle, which he kept by his side at all times. Like him, the eagle was a symbol of strength, 
courage and justice.